Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, today's mission is uh, glazing these door tops. I've got a glazing kit, well to be honest the door tops and the glazing kit are from Paintman Panels. Paintman Paint, Paintman Panels, same company, two different websites. So um, I don't know why. But this comes with everything you need to fit the glass without the, except for the glass itself um, which I've already got so I don't need but uh, yeah basically I'll um, I'll move the camera around in a second you go and grab yourself a cup of tea or a cold beer and uh, yeah we'll uh, get this fitted right so so we'll walk through what we get in this kit it's, it's pretty much everything you need to fit a door top um, Nuts, bolts, washers, um, rivets to fit the seal. But I've, I've never, I've never bothered riveting one down. I'll be honest. I'm going to sneeze in a minute though. You've got your felt um, runners or seals, whatever you want to call them. Should be three of them. Yep, there we go. All the uh, fitting bits and bobs new seal that goes down the window there and then you get a bottom seal that uh, that goes on the bottom of the door top but I've already got one on there so you don't need that right now that can be saved for another project I've got to say I buy a lot of stuff from Paintman Paint and Paintman Panels and I've never had anything bad whatsoever right you get a couple of them shims Various spacers, window retainers. I don't need them right this second, so I'll just put them to one side. So we can find them. They should come with, uh, well, from, from Paintman, they always come with slots in there. That's for your, for your locking mechanism. And, uh, yeah, well, uh, May as well crack on. Get some, in fact, what I'll do first, I'm just trying to think. This is um, this is the stuff uh, going round round there. If all you've got is if you haven't got any of that stuff, what you can use is I've moved it somewhere. Ah, there it is. The same stuff that I use on the on the windscreens and everything. Uh, double sided neoprene. Foam tape stuff. Right, you turn that fan off, or at least down. I've had to open the doors up and everything. Do these red up in here? So, first job, Mr. Organiser's lost his pencil. There we go. What I want to do is put a little mark there, a little pencil mark there, and same on the bottom. This is where you're going to start with your with your tape. I've got a little bit of that left over somewhere. Oh, I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, I had some of this left over somewhere from the last one. And what I'm going to do, measure it out, roughly where you want to be, and just snap it like that. And put it down so it's flush with that edge and squeeze it into the corner like so you can trim it up later if you overgo it uh, overshoot it but, but Right, just as neat as you can on there. Same down there. It's really simple stuff this, you can't really go far wrong with it. This whole thing's paint man, apart from the glass that's going in there, the paint's from paint man, the top's from paint man. Um, 
and the fitting kits from Paintman as well. Just got an old sheet down there to stop the paint from getting scratched. Force that into that corner. Actually, normally I use that stick double sided stuff on the roll, but as I've got this, it comes with the kit, so I may as well use it. No point in it going in the bin. Right there. One, one more across the bottom. Which is up to our pencil mark that we made. Might be easier just to stand this one up a little bit. You can do this on the on the truck. It's easy enough to do on the on the on the Land Rover. It's probably easier in some ways, but it'd be harder to film so And that should come all the way up to the end there. I peeled that off a bit too early. Once that's on there, what you need to do is go and get your glass. Back in a sec. Right, so this glass isn't perfectly cleaner now, but uh, it will be before long. And just yeah, well firm but uh, sort of gentle at the same time press that into place there make sure it's even all the way around like so and we'll press that down like that press that down into there Right, now we can start fitting these bits. Let's make sure that that, sl that slot there lines up with this slot here. And you put it in, and you've got one of these as well. That fits in there. In fact, let's stand it up. Let's stand it up. The glass ain't going to fall out now. So you've got that that fits in there, like so. You've got a shim that goes in there, like so. Make sure that lines up, which it does. Get your drill, this has got two and a half mil drill bit on there. I'll try and do this where I think you might be able to see. What I'm gonna do is wedge that pencil in there a little bit. screws out and stuff it first it helps. What did I do with that? I've got some of these here, these will do. These are off the other one. Finding the holes once you've drilled them is the is a tricky bit. I think it's there. Yeah, I know why this is. I'm not using my special screwdrivers. You can get that screwed back in a second. My electric one just needs charging up, so... Right, get that down in there, screw it down nicely. Just let 
there. I just want to move them out of the way. And then uh, I'll wedge it down with that pencil again. Ideally, you want one each end and one in the middle. But it's getting it, you need to, I don't know if you see there, but getting it somewhere around there. That's if I hold it with my finger like that. It's awkward because I'm trying to do it where, I can, where you guys can see it as well. Trying to find the blooming hole once you've drilled it. I should mark these up with a pencil. I normally do, but I just keep forgetting. There we go. One down in there. You don't really need one in the middle. I'll see how it goes before I decide if I'm putting one in or not. I don't like the way that uh, that screws. Not quite going in far enough, but I think I can't get it in because I've travelled the end of the screw up. Look at that. It's crap. That one. That's better, it's gone in further. Right. Well, you have to get a song stuck in your head. Next, uh, we we'll see now you've got that bit that needs to go up there. Do have a shim for that as well. And you've got that there as well, which will go like so. But we don't want to screw this bit in just yet. goes in which should fit in there between them like so it's a bit twisted straighten it out it's a really simple job this too People put it off and put it off, but it's actually a really simple job to do. You don't have to put up with the leaks. I know it sort of comes with the territory with a Land Rover, but it doesn't have to. For the sake of 20 quid and an hour's work, you can make it a, a lot nicer place to be. I'm not even sure if you're getting this on the camera. Yeah, you're getting enough. You're getting enough. I'll put 
one in the middle just for good measure. I'm trying to show you the whole process here, but it might just turn into a really long and boring video yet. I just, as I'm sure some of you have realised, I don't really edit videos as such. Right, next. What I'll do is move that out of the way a second. It's getting progressively heavier. Put that somewhere safe. And we're going to uh, try and get this off of here without breaking it. Best way of getting all the crud off, just scrape it off with a blade. It will all get washed down properly once it's all in. It'll end up, uh, if I wash it down now, it'll end up needing another wash again soon anyway. Right, so, making sure we've got this the right way around. So that, let's go to the inside. We don't need that, we need that right now. What we need is that and that rubber strip that is gonna hopefully sit on there. You might need to lubricate this slightly. You can use some something to stick it on with, if need be. Try and get it straight on there as you can get it. You might you might find yourself doing this a couple of times. Do not use soaking water on windows. Just use some of that. So, I mean, you can use car shampoo, but don't use dish dish um, so wash not liquid. Worst thing you could possibly use on your car. That stuff should never ever come anywhere near your car. The simple reason they contain salt, quite a lot of salt as well. Get on there, okay. Yeah, they contain quite a lot of salt. That takes some force to get on there. Um, and salt is the enemy of your car. It's like. Uh, so it's just slowly squeezing back off again. It's like um, it's like seawater. It's got like the equivalent of that salt of seawater or something. Um, that's how it repels grease and stuff. It's the it's the salt that does it. But obviously, salt rots steel. So right, just bear with me a second. Little mini rubber thumpy thing.
Right. You might find it starts peeling back off again, look, because that's where I've hammered it, it's bent it slightly. It's a bugger to get it to stay on there. I've put it on, right, that's gone on better, and see how it goes. If I end up having to bond it on with something, then fair play, I will do. But, right, put that there. Move these out of the way. And we're back on. That's that rounded screw, we'll put that out of the way. We're back on with this now. And I need to put that, get that into there. You know, I've still gone and done it and put the bloody thing upside down. Look like that. No, I haven't. Stop being a div. What an idiot. Right. Sometimes, honestly, I surprise myself. Put that onto there like so. My stupidity knows no bounds. all time taking it on and off repeatedly that's what's done me bear with a second I'll get that back on right now with the, <laughs> with the rubber on the right way around let's try again shall we get in there get in there everybody has their off days don't they That's that. Now this is these the bits where you need to be careful drilling next to the glass. Simple job. Made even harder by me. Put one in the middle there. today really humid even though it's been raining most of the day got to get in the hole We're almost ready for a beer. Last bit is this bit that goes along there. Then I can get it fitted and cleaned properly. 
So we'll put three in here. I like to use these little sort of rounder headed ones for on the on here with the visible ones, they just look better, better I think, not them ones. These little tiny ones. I think they just look a little bit better, that's all. One, we'll put three on there. One more little screw down the bottom there, and we're done. Obviously, I still need to fit that, but I'll... but I can't find them. <laughs> I'm not sure where they've gone. Uh, I've got some brand new ones somewhere, but I just can't find them. If I can if I don't find them it next week, I'll um, I'll order some new ones. They always get used anyway. Right, and we're done. Sliding glass. Just need to sort that lock out. So a good one. I'll get down here with the Hoover in a little bit and uh, just get all these little bits out. I'll tell you what I will do while I'm at it. We'll put one in there. Put one, little, one more little screw in the bottom there, and then uh, we are all done. Then doesn't really need it, but it's not going to do it any harm. So And we're done. Jobs are good. That's it. I'll fit this on the door now. Right, shot that on there. You get, uh, with your kit, you get a big washer, a lock washer, and a big nut that goes on there. But on the bottom of the door, two of them. And you're good to go, basically. It's a good little kit for around £20. For around £20 it costs for everything to do it. It's um, it's well worth it. Your Land Rover's a bit more wind and water tight. To me, that's worth it. Worth every penny of it, really. Let's do them finger tight for now. Come off the shelf, the bugger. Right, and there we go. Fully sliding. Can't do it from this side because the little knob that it's there. Fully sliding window. Um, I'm gonna leave them open in the garage because it gets a bit warm. Has a bit of a greenhouse effect in there. So yeah, that's um, the interior is ready to go, more or less. I'm just still waiting for the um, rear seats. That'll hopefully be next week. 
Once the interior's in there, I'm just waiting for the wiring loom and then it's, um, well, it'll be finished more or less. But probably not the most exciting video you've ever watched, granted, but uh, I thought I'd just get it. I'd, I'd do a quick video on it. And, uh, and uh, just, for, just for them that, that are struggling. So, right, there's not, there's not many, there's not many more videos to come on this Land Rover now. Um, like I said, the interior's got to go in. The, the next major video will probably be when the wiring loom turns up. Unless there's any little bits left that, uh, that I come across that I think might be of interest to somebody. Um, yeah, can't wait to get this done. I can get stuck into Kermit then. The T25's out there, that's still waiting on the fuel pump. I ordered, I, I got a second hand pump, you can't buy them new anymore. Um, and that was dead as well, so it's, it's gone off to get refurbed. I just haven't got time for faffing about with it. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, as soon as that comes back, I'll be doing some T25 videos. Um, and in the next couple of weeks, I hope to be doing some more Kermit videos, taking that for a test drive. Because I've got to test drive that, I've got to test drive the 25 when that's done. I've got to test drive this Land Rover, and I've still got to test drive the Mini that's now parts, parts up the other end of my yard. So. Um, yeah, there'll be some test drive videos coming up soon, hopefully. But, uh, right, I've waffled enough. I'm going to finish another beer, and I'll see you all soon. Take care.